a YouTube, this is Dream Studios, with a new, uh, tutorial for you guys. Um, this is, a uh, a weighted tutorial that people have been asking me about how to make the chrome effect in Photoshop. Now, the chrome effect we're going to be creating today is going to look like this. Nothing much, nothing special, and it's not going to turn out like this. That's just a different effect. But this is only this is basically the main effect we're gonna be trying to create. So without any further ado, let's just make a new project. Make it 1280 by 720 or whatever you want. And then just fill it with a nice gray color. I'll go with that. We gotta fill it first. And now we're gonna go to filter, noise, add noise. And right I have the amount at 11.86, the distribution, uniform, and monochromatic checked off. And press OK. So now you have our background. So now we're just going to press T on our keyboard. And then uh, click in order to start typing. I'm going to be using Ethnocentric. This is the font that I've used in the past. And now I am using a new font. But let's just type in stream. 2.0 and you cannot see it because you have to make it white. There it is. Now uh, press Control T on your keyboard. Hold Shift so it stays in line. If you don't have Shift on, it'll sort it like that. You don't want that. Hold Shift. Uh, make it decently big. Um, and press Enter. Center it. Control click the background well unlock it first. Control click the background layer. Make sure you are on the text, the stream text. Um and make sure you're on the move tool too. And up here you have all these buttons. Click this one, it's the second to last. And then click this one, it's the second. And now it's just in the center. Press control D to deselect. And now we're gonna get into the fun part the actual creating of Chrome text. So just double click on it and um, all we're going to be using is bevel and emboss and gradient overlay. So it's going to go ahead and click on both of these. And on the bevel and emboss we're going to make the depth all the way up. Just bring it up to a thousand and yeah. The direction is going to be down. The size will make it about six. The gloss contour, we're going to set it to this one right here. See it right there? Yeah. And make it anti alize so it's nice nice and smooth. And then just play around with the highlight mode. And yeah. We're going to make the size just a little bit bigger here. That's good. Well, same thing as what I said. Oh, whatever. And now we're going to go to the green overlay. And since it was a white color in the beginning, all you gotta do is set the opacity down. So now it's uh, lighter. And I obviously did not center this one. So I'll go ahead and center it and see how close we got, got it. It's kind of the same. So yeah, that's how you make the chrome text. A very simple and easy to do and I also want to show you on uh, my website I didn't like I was gonna recreate it and then I got into other things and um, so I just kind of went through with using webs.com and I edited it a little so now it's completely my own and since I have the premium package it did not say made with webs and um, Make sure you create an account, very simple and easy to do. And um, make sure to read t the blog, uh, subscribe to the RSS feed, and something new, we have. I have a Twitter account. Yeah, my name is John. So, go ahead and uh, follow me on Twitter, so you can, you can have the latest updates of new tutorials, what's coming up, and just news, and what's happening, and you guys can request tutorials as well. So, that's it, YouTube. Um, uh, I don't know what to, what I, my sh next tutorial should be. I was thinking about how to make videos 3D with After Effects, but 
I don't know. So, uh, go to Twitter or PM me or comment on the video. Don't ask me what what ne my next tutorial will be. I don't know. So, that's it. That's it, YouTube. I'll see you next time. And don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And, uh, bye.